If you're a business owner, then you probably want your business to run efficiently and you want to be responsible with spending, right? If that sounds appealing to you, this video will introduce you to a scheduling feature that's built right in to your Google Workspace account. I'm going to share with you a tool that can replace your need for Calendly or Acuity scheduling applications, but I'll let you be the judge whether you want to make the switch. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of any platform that can streamline the scheduling process. I've vetted quite a few, and I've had clients say that they couldn't live without their Calendly account that I set up for them. But now that Google has released this capability, you might want to evaluate if it would make you just as happy so that you can stop paying for two subscriptions. Stick around to the end of this video so you will better understand the difference between Google Schedule and Google Bookings, in addition to being able to compare it to other familiar products on the market. If you know someone who needs to learn more about their Google Workspace account, please share this video with them. Once you have a few appointment types set up, this is what your appointment page will look like in Google Calendar. Does it look familiar to you? I have three meeting types here, 30 minute, 60 minute, and two hour. And once you click on one, it will take you to the particular appointment type that you'd like to send to your colleagues or your clients so that they can select a day and time to meet with you. This is a view of one particular appointment title. Let me just walk you through the experience the recipient would have to schedule this appointment and let you decide what you think. They would click here. You can see that they would select a date and time that works for them. So that would be the first step that they would do. And then when the dates are represented here across the page, they could pick a particular time. So I'll go ahead and select this one o'clock time slot. And whenever that uh, choice has been selected, you can see it reviewed here at the top. And then they have a small form to fill in with their information. Right now, I don't have phone as a field, but you can certainly add that if you'd like. There are even built-in appointment confirmation and reminder emails. You don't have as much control over the customization of these appointment reminders like you would in other platforms. But here's a preview of what the recipient would get. It has everything they'd need to ensure it gets to their calendar and information about where to meet you, whether that's at a particular location or over a video conference. If you want to give this a shot, let me show you where you'll find this feature in your account. Up here in your settings menu in the calendar, you want to go to settings, and over here on your left menu, you can choose appointment schedules, which will take you down to your option here where you can choose whether you would like to create an appointment schedule instead of appointment slots. And if you like what you're seeing here today, you can click this choice here, which will make it available to you in your calendar. Now, when you go into your calendar and you want to create a new event, you can go up to create and appointment schedule is now an option for you. Google has made this feature optional to replace their bookings feature. And if you aren't familiar with appointment slots, it functions more like the reserved spots your professor might have had where they had a block of time and you could select a slot of 15 to 30 minutes during that block of time. The appointment slots might work better for you if you want to do a similar thing with staff or clients. I could even see bookings being useful if you want to schedule mini sessions or offer free 30 minute consultations on your website. But Appointment Scheduler offers the more appointment types um, and allows you to have flexibility with the type of meeting it is and various lengths of time and location. I appreciate you staying with me to the end, and if you found this video helpful, then you should give it a thumbs up and share a comment below about how you intend to put this new knowledge to use. To learn more, visit our website 
But for other sneak peeks into technology designed to improve your productivity, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.